Today I want to show you how to troubleshoot a lock status sensor. A lock status sensor hooks up to your alarm system of your home and lets you know if the window is locked and unlocked. I have an unresponsive status sensor on this window that we're going to troubleshoot together and I want to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and unlock the window. You can use the wrench that came with your window where it says lock or you can just have the original lock on there. We unlock the window by going up. We'll open the window and then we'll go ahead and remove this cover by taking a sharpened putty knife and finding this little gap here. So if this is painted, go ahead and take a utility knife and score this paint line. It makes this cover a little easier to take off. So we'll remove it just like this. Now we'll go ahead and remove this top cover and this is where this, the status sensor is. So we'll go ahead and move this down like this. And as you can see, there's a pocket in here. And this pocket right here is, you can put a wireless sensor in there, or in this case, they hardwired it. And as we see here, there's no duct or um, wire nuts, or they didn't solder these wires. These really should be uh, soldered and put around with some electrical tape. Uh, so that should be done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, just to make sure it's not in my way. And then we're gonna go ahead and take off this hardware cover with the same manner as we did the other ones, sharpen, stiffen, putty knife. We can get in that crap and we're going to go ahead and just work our way all the way up. Okay, we'll finish taking this off. Ah, oh, I see the problem already. The lock status sensor come detached from this uh, tie bar. This actually belongs on here like this and then when you move the lock. It's supposed to go up and down with it so it lines up with the alarm contact right here. So how the sensor is supposed to work? It's supposed to be attached here and then when you move this up it closes the window and this magnet trips this switch and it tells the switch or tells the alarm system of the house if this is open or closed. So I'm going to go ahead and reattach this on here. Um, I did get replacements, but I haven't seen any, seen any of these fail yet. So we'll go ahead and put that back on there. And I'm going to do a, a little something else to make sure that doesn't come off. So I'm going to go ahead and take some double sided tape here. And I'm going to add the tape on there like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it to that. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that is in the hole, just like that. And as a precaution, I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this on here. Even with that there, it really shouldn't affect the operation of the window. And by the way, this is my fix. This is not a Marvin fix. Okay, I'm checking the operation of it just to make sure it's not impeding the, uh, the operation of the hardware. That seems to work fine. It seems to be on there real good. I'm using my volt ohm meter and right now as you can see it's showing open leads and when I lock the window the contact makes contact with the magnet and we know that this is working properly. So now that we know we got this working properly we'll go ahead and put it back together. I'll make sure to mention to their electrician to go ahead and make sure that they solder these wires or crimp them or whatever they do. Uh, so that's a better contact. So let's go ahead and reassemble the window. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this back on. As you can see, there's a notch here for this wire to go into. So we'll gently put that in there like that. And I suspect that the alarm people cut this too short because this is a brand new one. And look how long this lead is. So uh, make sure that everything's hooked up in there first before you cut that, obviously. So it looks like they cut themselves a little short but it, it'll still work. Working our way down, make sure it's all the way in. Okay, we'll reinstall the bottom hardware cover and we'll put this connecting bar back in here. So one last test just to make sure everything's still okay. Yeah, as you can see, there's actually a notch here in this top cover. 
That allows room for that, so we'll go ahead and reinstall that. And we're all done. Well, that's how I troubleshoot a lock status sensor on a Marvin window. And I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button up below, and that helps me out. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.